What does Stefan Diggs' $96 million contract extension mean for the Bengals? Let's discuss next. Let's go. All right, I got this from the NFL Network reporter, Kevin, I hope I'm saying his name right, Petre. Stefan Diggs and the Buffalo Bills have reached a four-year, $96 million contract extension. Let's just get into this article. The contract extension can be worth more in its in its in incentives. NFL Network Insider Ian Rappaport reported Wednesday morning Diggs will receive a $21.5 million signing bonus and $70 million in total guarantees as part of his new deal per Rappaport. The 28-year-old Diggs put them under contract for the Buffalo Bills for the next six seasons. That is unbelievable. What does that mean for the Bengals moving forward in the next couple of years? With T. Higgins coming up next year. Just, to, just the wide receivers alone. T. Higgins coming up next year. Jamar Chase the year after that. Also, Jackpot Joey Burrow. These contract extensions for the wide receivers are insane. To me, what it means is, like I've already said, uh, Joe Mixon, this is his last contract. Tyler Boyd, this is his last contract. Jesse Bates is not getting extended. I, I don't see how the Bengals can extend Jesse Bates when two of your biggest stars, actually three of your biggest stars on your Super Bowl team, and Jackpot Joey Burrow, T. Higgins, and Jamar Chase are all coming up soon. And the, their their contracts are going insane from the guaranteed money that the clowns gave Deshaun Watson to now $96 million extension that Diggs got, everything that, that Hill got with the, with the Miami Dolphins. It is absolutely insane. And it comes to mind, can the Bengals afford both T. Higgins and Jamar Chase? I used to think they could. Now, I don't know. So the window, the Super Bowl window for the Bengals, I won't say it's getting any even shorter, but it could be because the money is just outrageous. You can't spend all the money on three players. Now, I know there's lots of people who say that the salary cap doesn't actually exist because there's so many people that are, excuse me, so many teams that keep circumventing the, the, the salary cap and they keep getting these astronomical contract numbers. And these guaranteed numbers. And the thing is, with the Bengals, they have done such a good job at signing the players that they have recently signed to good money, but friendly money, team friendly money, or it's you know not astronomically crazy money. It's going nuts right now. So it does worry me a bit. We might not be able to keep both of them. A month ago, I thought it'd be no problem keeping. Jamar Chase and T. Higgins and Joe Burrow. I know we're keeping Joe Burrow. <laughs> we know that's for a fact. And we know they're probably going to keep Jamar Chase. I hate to say it, but T. Higgins might be the one that's the odd man out, which would suck because I love T. Higgins. You know, I want to keep him. I want him to be a Bengal for life. But I don't know if the Bengals can afford all this, especially with all the guaranteed money. Bengals do not do guaranteed money. That's just the way they do business. But it'll all be interesting to find out how it plays out in the next couple years. But good God. You want some money? Go be a wide receiver in the NFL. I'll see you guys at 5.30. Let's go.
house, we win it. Orange and black and white, we build it. Earn our stripes, you know we kill it. Bleed our colors, jungle dripping. Nasty, natty, yeah, we live it. Lit the crowd, get the city loud. Yeah, we feasting now.